I, I also want to take a minute to thank uh, Direct Action for Rights and Equality. They're letting us use their sound system. And I'm not sure if uh, anyone from that organization is here who wants to say a few words. Okay. Also, um, Onlyville Neighborhood Association, uh, who sent a, a message of solidarity. And I'm not sure if they have a speaker here today. Okay. So uh, I'd like to, to move on to uh, the George Wiley Center, which is uh, just up the road in, in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, they've been doing incredibly work, incredible work over the years fighting for the uh, poorest and most vulnerable uh, among us. And um, here's uh, Edward Benson, who's representing the George Wiley Center. Thanks, Ben. Over 30 years ago, a local activist named Henry Shelton founded the George Wiley Center to help lead the fight for social and economic justice. One of our early campaigns was for universal free breakfasts in schools across the state so that low-income children would not be stigmatized when they tried to get ready for their day. It took many years of advocacy, mixed with, liberally with direct actions, but that is now a common feature of the school day. The Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, which helps fund it, is under attack in the current Congress. Another Henry Shelton campaign was for an arrearage management pro plan so that low-income residents who could not pay their heating bills, they just didn't have the money, could sign on to a plan that would allow them to pay half of what they owed over a period of three years and they would be forgiven the balance. The practice before the Henry Shelton Act was for the utility simply to shut off service and let the people shiver in the dark while passing their debt on to the rest of us. The Henry Shelton Act is also being revised. Finally, the George Wiley Center was one of the groups leading the fight for free bus passes for low-income elder, low elderly and disabled riders. Two weeks ago, they started paying for their tickets. Trump's election has put Republicans in control of all three branches of our government. They are racing to wipe away the social safety net that allows our poor citizens to live in dignity. We have a duty not only to our disadvantaged fellow citizens, but also our own grandchildren to preserve and defend the victories to which Henry Shelton dedicated his life. And we'll need lawyers to do it. Thanks. Thank you, Nick. So um, that's uh, about it for speakers. I'd just like to thank each and every one of you for coming out today. Um, I really appreciate this uh, show of support and solidarity. Um, we have to stick together and stand up for each other and uh, continue to fight. Thank you all so much.